CBS Television's Standard Oil Division, American Oil Company, who reminds you that you expect more from Standard, and you get it. And by new true silver cigarettes, with or without menthol. And by Ford, who brings you better ideas for 1970. Interception by Houston. They're in that situation again where they have first and goal inside the five. And again, they like to stick it on the ground as much as they can from this position. Bo Scott is a setback along with Leroy Kelly. It's first and goal from the two. And Scott gets his second touchdown of the afternoon. On first and goal, Scott went in. So the score mounts to 23 to nothing. Take a look at it again from ground level from behind Leroy Jordan, number 55. Bo Scott has shown us some strong running this afternoon. Behind the block of Fred Hoagland, number 54, he was hit by Bob Lilly at about the one, but he still got in. Rayfield Wright is on the offensive line for Dallas. Morton keeps the football, and he goes on in, and it looked like a busted play. I'm sure it was. He slipped as he started away from the center. He's going to give the ball to Calvin Hill on a sweep to the left. But he realized at the last minute that Hill would be past where he could make an exchange with him, so he took it and scored anyway. Watch him slip as he turns around. And he realized, I think, that he couldn't get the ball to Hill, so he just stuck it away. Well, that is the first Dallas score of the day. Mackey makes his block and goes across the field, and that time he wasn't as open as he was on the play before. But still, Cleveland got first down yardage. Morin has caught four passes for 54 yards. Warfield's caught six for 72. 42 seconds left in this quarter. First down play, the delay to Kelly. Kelly inside the 30. Needs a block by Collins. Gets inside the 15. Inside the five-yard line. First and goal, Cleveland from the three-yard line. Leroy Kelly. Finally stopped by Jordan and Otto Brown. A 39-yard dash. It's a draw play to Kelly. A little bit of a delay. As Nelson was anticipating a strong pass rush from Dallas. And the rest of it is just uh, run as only he can run. That's Collins down with the block on Cornell Green. Green rolled out but couldn't quite get to him. And Collins did a good job on a big defensive back. Cornell Green. 
allowed the play to go to the three yard. Cleveland leading 24 to 7. Bo Scott and Leroy Kelly. Kelly this time, and he's got the touchdown. Leroy Kelly is in. Making the score now 30 to 7 in favor of Cleveland. Kelly from one yard away. Warren has a touchdown, and Scott has two. Morton scored for Dallas. During the course of the regular season, in favor of the Browns, Ranso goes to the left, and that's one of the big stories of this game. Morton has been unable to get the ball to him. Hayes is on the right side. This is a fourth down play. In the corner, and it is intercepted by Sumner. And he is going to go all the way. The rookie cornerback with an 89-yard interception for a touchdown. To make it 37-7. to Rod Sumner, who was supposed to be worked on by the Cowboys, does some work of his own. And here it comes again. You'll see him cut just in front of the intended receiver, who I believe is Calvin Hill, out in the left flat. Now it's Garrison. But Sumner involved in short zone coverage, cut just in front of him and set sail. That's Tony Lissio chasing the left tackle, 72, but he's got no chance. 37 to 7 now in favor of Cleveland with 9.33 remaining in the game. That interception and the touchdown run covered 89 yards. Sumner had run one back for a touchdown during the regular season. Rome holding, Cockroft kicking. 38-7 in favor of Cleveland. And back with the Browns kickoff in just a moment. <laughs> 